Hi, I'm Pariah Burke. I'm a print publishing and digital publishing consultant and the author of the first, longest running, and best selling books on Adobe Digital Publishing Suite, the business of digital publishing, and other InDesign based e publishing workflows. My books have become the foundations for digital publishing curriculums at colleges, universities, and training firms throughout the world. This course assumes that you already have a very strong working knowledge of InDesign. Over the next few hours, I'm going to show you how to build Adobe Digital Publishing Suite folio publications in InDesign, how to collaborate with internal and external personnel and agencies, how to convert a print publication into a DPS folio, how to build multiple orientations in a DPS folio, including using liquid layout behaviors and alternate layouts to significantly reduce the time and effort required for such conversions. We're going to walk through building articles and setting article properties, including not only articles you've built directly on the page in InDesign, but also HTML-based articles that extend the interactive power of articles to all new heights. From there, we'll move into getting interactive. We'll start slow. We'll start easy. We'll start with hyperlinks. Then we'll move into working with buttons. And then we'll step into the world of motion and sound, adding audio and video, building your own audio player, and using streaming video from the web. From there, it's into building animations and adding them into DPS folios for overt and subtle motion and action. Next, we get into adding external content, live web content, such as fully interactive Google and Bing Maps, calendar and booking widgets, open table widgets, and pretty much any widget you can find online. You can even attach files such as PDFs and Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and Apple pages and numbers and keynote documents, and other file formats and have them display inside the folio. Then we'll get into panning and zooming images, making a place for images too large to fit in the allotted space. This enables readers to view and interact with those images without shrinking them down. Then into 3D panoramas and spaces, exploring the inside of rooms and vehicles and other three-dimensional spaces. We'll put more text on the page than will fit by using scrolling frames. After text, we'll add images and other objects into scrolling frames to create some truly interesting interactivities, such as pull tabs and slide-in panels, content that pulls off from the side of the page. Then we'll build slideshows, image galleries, then video galleries, then image galleries that are controlled by thumbnails. From there, we'll get into working with multi-state objects, or MSOs for short. Those are the true power of interactivity built in InDesign. With MSOs, you can build pop-ups, you can have content that is initially hidden but appears later, and you can build complex content areas where interactivity is embedded in content replacement areas where one piece or group of content, text, image, video, animation, or all of them, replace or overwrite other pieces of content. Then we'll finalize the folio, wrap the whole thing up with folio and article properties, talk about how to embed custom fonts, where to access your DPS dashboards where you can publish your folio, and analyze the analytics of how readers interact with your folio. Lastly, I'll have a few words for you about how you can raise your insertion rates if your publications are ad or sponsor supported by helping your advertisers embrace the interactivities possible in your DPS folios. Adobe Digital Publishing Suite based in InDesign is an exciting, powerful technology for professional and enterprise publishers. By the end of this course, you will be ready to create even the most complex and feature-rich digital magazine, e-catalog, or other interactive DPS publication.